this is a big uh, holiday in Hungary, so uh, happy holiday. So, Aggie is here, I know for sure. Hi, Aggie. So, let's start the practice as always with a little short pranayama to warm up, <clears throat> to oxygenate the body. So, inhale and arms up. Top of the lungs, hold it for two seconds. And exhale. Again, inhale. Hold. And exhale. And once more, inhale. Hold. And exhale. All right. Now inhale and arms up. And as we exhale, turn to the right, gentle twist. Inhale back. Exhale left. And inhale back. And exhale right, palm to the floor. Look over the left arm. Little stretch. And inhale back. Exhale left. Look over the right arm. And inhale back. And I'm going to go right again, just a little deeper. You adjust the depth. I usually go on my elbow. And inhale back. Exhale left. A little deeper. And inhale back, and let's leave the arms out. Circus to the front. And back. And now bend the elbows, <clears throat> close the backbones behind, and pull the palms to the front. Open, close the backbones, pull them to the front. And open, close the backbones, and pull them to the front. And out, now palms toward the floor, and up, and down, up, and down, and up. All right, palms around the knees, shoulder circles to the front, and back. And now both to the front, and both backward. Alright, interlace the fingers behind, <clears throat> sit up straight, only if the shoulders don't hurt, a little shoulder stretch here. And undo the fingers, interlace them above, palms inside out, sit up straight, <clears throat> very gentle, lean to the right, and overdo it, and back, and left. And back. All right, undo the fingers. Let's warm up the neck. Look down at the belly button <clears throat> and roll the head around. And that's when I always disclose. Please listen to your body. One more round with the head. If anything doesn't feel right, just please don't do it or modify it. Be careful. Opposite direction with the head. And one more round here too. Okay. All right, let's go up on our fours <clears throat> to warm up the back. It's always cats and cows. So, arms are shoulder wide, legs are hip wide. Inhale into cat. <clears throat> and exhale, cow. Again, cat. And exhale, cow. And a couple of more sets. Inhale into cat. And while in cat, let's wiggle the tail. That kind of loosens up the lower back. And <clears throat> down to cow. And once more, inhale, cat. Wiggle the tail. And back to cow. Curl the toes. And push up to down facing dog. 
and it's a little chilly here, so I'm not sure about <coughs> your place, but uh, I take my time to gradually ease into the position. bend the right knee and feel the extra stretch on the left side a few more seconds here and straighten the right knee and bend the left one and now let's feel the stretch on the right side I certainly do And straighten the left leg, both legs are straight. Walk or hop toward the arms. And forward fold again, that's a big stretch early in, in the class and cold muscles. So just gradually ease into it. Alright, few more seconds here. Alright, so pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together, a little back bend. And palms to the heart. <clears throat> okay, one half salute and one full sun salutation to warm up. Inhale and arms up. Exhale, full. Don't forget your core. Pull the tummy in. It protects the lower back. Inhale, straighten the back. Again, it's already strong core here. Exhale, fold. And inhale and arms up. Palms together, a little back bend. And palms to the heart. Okay, full sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale forward, don't forget your core. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale forward. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. And we'll get used to the stretch here. And left leg. And plank. We can put the knees down for Chaturanga or just follow me. Lower the upper body. Mini cobra. Up dog. Curl the toes and down dog. And step to the front with the right leg. And bring the left leg along and fold. And pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Palms together. A little bit bad. And palms to the heart. Alright, high lunge. Inhale and arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, straighten the back, extend the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. Stay high on the right toes, right palm is on the floor. And lift up the left one, try to look at it. And left arm comes down. Find a balance for high lunge. And high lunge. Straighten the front knee. Elbows to the side. Five times. That's three. Four. And five. 
palms together, twist over the left knee. And back in high lunge. Palms are on the floor, right knee is on the floor, point the foot for low lunge. And palms are on the floor, curl the right toes and move the left leg back. Non facing dog. And I'll have it. A little more chaturangas today again. So let's do a chaturanga. I lift up the right leg. Bring it to the front. Stay high on the left. The whose left palm is on the floor. And lift up the right one, try to look at it. And the right arm comes down, find a balance for high lunge and high lunge. Straighten the front knee, elbows to the side, five times. Three. Four and five. Palms together, twist over the right knee. And back in high lunge. Palms are on the floor, left knee is on the floor, point the foot for low lunge. Palms are on the floor, curl the left toes and move the right leg back, down facing dog. And again, we can wait here or have a quick chaturanga, only if it feels good. <clears throat> and lift up the right leg, bend the knee, and straighten, bring it to the front. The left heel is done for warrior two. And we'll start with warrior two today. Knees above ankle, outside edge, parallel with the mat. And warrior two, right palm up and reverse. And back to the center. Right elbow over right knee. And you can stay here or lift up the right arm. Right arm is back. And we stand up. Reverse it again. And back to the center. Right elbow next to the right knee. Look over the left arm. And back to the center. Straighten the front knee. Left hip goes to the left. Reach over the right leg. Look over the left arm. And left arm comes down. And move the right leg back. Down facing dog. And again, we can wait here or have a chaturanga in the front. And lift up the left leg, 
bend a knee and straighten bring it to the front right here is done for warrior two <coughs> and warrior two is above anchor you know the drill and left palm up and reverse and back to the center left elbow over left knee and we can stay here or lift up the left arm too and left arm is back and we stand up reverse it again and back to the center left elbow to the left knee look over the right arm and back to the center straighten the front knee for triangle right hip goes to the right reach over the left leg look over the right arm and right arm comes down Move the left leg back. Down facing dog. And again we can wait here. Oh, we have a chaturanga. It's a good upper body, a little cardio. As we inhale, let's move the knees down to the floor, point the feet, and lift up the right leg, hold it strong, strong core here, pull the tummy in, and left arm, and five crunches, and hold, and second, and hold, third. fourth and fifth and let's reach back for extra stretch here and release the leg arm goes down and right leg goes down let's lift up the left leg and right arm and five crunches here Two, three, and four, five, and let's reach back for the extra stretch here, and release the leg, arm goes down, and left leg goes down, one cat here to readjust the lower back and curl the toes and push up two down facing dog <coughs> oh, let's do let's go back on the knees let's do the glutes strengthening kicks so lift up the right leg let's have 20 kicks up to, toward the sky and 20 here and now let's lift up the left one and 20 here and 20 so let's just curl the toes 
and push up to down facing dog and now walk or hop toward the arms and forward fold hmm and that's when I do the deeper stretch by stepping on my fingers under the heels we can put them under the toes depending on your body type inhale and as we exhale pull the head closer to the shins 20 seconds here Now take the fingers away, interlace them behind, only if the shoulders don't hurt, a little shoulder stretch. And <clears throat> undo the fingers, pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up, palms together, a little back bend and palms to the heart. All right, let's have a chair. Just one chair today. Inhale and arms up. And a little gap between the feet. And down to chair. Pull the tummy in. Weight goes on the heels so we can move the toes. And a few more seconds here. And left elbow goes to the right knee, look over the right arm. And back to the center. Right elbow, left knee. And back to the center and fold. And pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up, palms together, low back bend, and palms to the heart. <clears throat> Crescent, get between the feet, inhale and arms up, and grab the left wrist and pull the body to the right. And back to the center, switch, and left. <clears throat> Now palms together, big inhale, really strong core, and turn to the right, 10 seconds. And back to the center, again stretch up straight, big inhale, and left. to the center and arms down side stretches so big step between the feet and we stop let's see we don't start with the v-shape today we'll do goddess here too so uh, v-shaped feet inhale arms up for star and down to goddess out to star and begin here and second goddess 10 seconds here and out to star move the feet for pigeon parallel again begin here and lean halfway through leave the arms out for a good 10 seconds And reach down and grab the outside edge of the feet. And the goal is to put the forehead on the floor. 20 seconds. left palm is on the floor 
If you need a block, don't be afraid to use it. And lift up the right arm. Try to look at it. And we can stay here. We'll move the right arm, grab the left thigh, and pull the head to the right. And left palm is back on the floor, right one left, right one is down, fold again. And now as we inhale, the right palm is in the front, either on the floor or on a block over the left arm and we can stay here or move to the left grab the right thigh and pull the head to the left and right palm is back on the floor Left one left, left one is down, fold once more. <clears throat> and now as we inhale, push up, and let's do a wide leg it down, facing dog. Move the arms in to the front. And it feels good, relaxes the shoulders, shoulder blades, and stretches every direction. Look nicely, feels good. And walk the palms closer to the head, bend the right knee, walk over to the right. <coughs> and straighten the right leg. Walk over to the left. <clears throat> and straighten the left leg. Both legs are straight. And walk the feet closer to each other for prayer squat. And prayer squat. And now palms are on the floor, and this is my ill attempt for a crow. Wasn't too bad. And knees together, toes together for toe balance. <clears throat> and palms are next to the hips, and we stand up. A few steps on the toes. And let's do some balancing. All right, let's do my tush strengthening series. Last time I fall out of it, but we'll see how it works today. Inhale, arms up. <clears throat> and weight goes on the left foot and lift up the right one just from the hips. Fold over. And palms are on the floor for split. And we can stay here or have five curtsies. Watch your left knee. And right leg down. Fold. <clears throat> and pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up together a little back back and palms to the heart. <coughs> Other side. <coughs> Excuse me. And we step on the right foot and lift up the left one just from the hips. Foot over. And 
pawns are on the floor for splits. And five goods is here. Four. And five. And left leg down. Fold. Pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up. Little back bend and palms to the heart. Okay, back on the floor. Inhale and arms up. Exhale, fold. Strong core anytime we do that. And walk out to the front for plank. Strong plank and lower the body to the floor. <clears throat> Put the forehead on the floor, palms are next to the chest, and lift up the arms, and now lift up the head, baby cobra. And three, two, one. Whew. Left ear is on the mat. And lift up the head, palms are next to the chest. Cobra this time. <clears throat> Toes together, legs are straight. Inhale. And then push up. Elbows are close to the chest. Shoulders away from the ears. And three, two, one. Right ear is on the mat. And turn the head, let's do one more. Bend the knees and we'll do bow. Grab on the heels and inhale. And lift up everything, roll on the tummy. And three, two, one. Curl the toes and push up. And extend the child. And pull the palms closer to the body and sit up. And let's do the parkour now. So we go on the elbows, curl the toes and push up a couple of dolphins and third time we'll stay parallel with the floor for for a minute And it's uh, half time. Twenty more seconds. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one. Knees are on the floor, toes together, knees wide. Extended child. Whew. Do rest. And pull the palms closer to the knees and push up. And 
let's bring the feet to the front. I do shoulder stand today, plow and shoulder stand. So move the muscles away from the sitting bones. Inhale and arms up. Grab on the big toes and pull the head closer to them. And 20 seconds here. And sit up and let's do reverse plank. Or palms behind the hips and push up. And back on the floor. And counter stretch it again. And sit up and second reverse plank. We we'll hold it for 10 seconds. And back on the floor. And we'll counter stretch it right away. And sit up, bend the knees. And arms out and slowly one vertebrae at a time. Lie back down. And I'll do reverse, I mean, uh, shoulder stand and plow now. Please follow me only if it's in your practice. Don't try to learn it from here. And also, one more thing when in plow or shoulder st uh, stand, do not turn your head left and right. It can screw up your neck. So, other than that, it's a good position, so inhale, and I like to grab on my toes first, I don't know why, it just uh, kind of gives me the move, and then put the palms down on the floor, inhale, and move the toes behind the head, and let's plow, and we can stay here or bend the elbows to help the hips and just lift up the right leg, left leg and shoulder stand. And that's complicated. Bend the knees. You would slowly so you don't hit your nose and straighten. Again bend slowly and straighten. And once more. And now move the feet behind the head again. For plow. Who came up with those names? And straighten the arms. And we're going to move the hips back to the floor. But before we put the hips down, put uh, the palms facing down under the hips. We are going to counter stretch with the fish, so bend the knees and straighten the legs, both legs are straight and as we inhale we'll move the elbows under the chest, under the back and relax the head, that decompresses the neck from the previous exercise. And take the elbows away, bend the knees, take the palms out, grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And, all right, let's do my little spine maintenance as I call it. So let's put the feet down on the floor. And you know what, if you have the block, Then grab on the block and put the blocks between the knees. All right. And we can reach down with our fingertips toward the heels. So as we inhale, tilt, curl your hip and hold. It's a very subtle move. It's really good for lower back strengthening and maintaining it. And back on the floor. Again, curl, tilt and hold. And now lift up and hold. Don't curl the shoulders under just yet. And now we're going to push on the block. 
and release. Again, push hard. And release once more. Push. And release. And back on the floor. And again, curl, tilt, and hold. Lift up and hold. And now let's curl the shoulders under. It's like a half a bridge, and if you can interlace the fingers, then it's easier to hold. And undo the fingers, uncurl the shoulders, and take the block away. And grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And back feet are back on the floor. And let's do a little more core today. Core is always good. It helps with your posture, protects your back. We may be torn out. So lift up, lift up the knees. And put the arms behind the head. And as we inhale, pull the tummy in and lift up the head. And back around the floor. Again, inhale, pull the tummy in and lift. And back. And same thing, pull the tummy and lift. And back twice more. Pull the tummy, lift and hold. And back on the floor. And again, inhale. Pull the tummy and lift. And back on the floor. Feet are on the floor. And we do the same thing. Inhale, pull the tummy and lift. And back. All right, inhale. Pull the tummy and lift. And back. Pull, lift. And back. Twice more. Pull, lift. And back. And once more. <clears throat> Last time. Inhale. Pull the tummy and lift. And back on the floor. <clears throat> Grab the knees to the chest, rock side to side. And let's do a couple of more, more core exercises today. We may have a little sore tummy, but that's good. So, um, what we do here, we flatten the spine. So inhale and flat the spine on the floor. So practice on it because it's important. So inhale, flatten the spine and now pull, move the left toe to the floor and back. Again, flatten the spine, right toe and back. So we're going to do that, uh, I don't know, a few times. So let's say five times, five sets. So um, inhale, flatten the spine, left toe and back. Flatten, right, back. Flatten, left, back, right, back, left, back, right, back. I forgot to count. Let's do three more, three more times. One, two, and three. And grab the knees to the chest. Rock side to side. And let's just turn to the right and sit up. Some final traditional stretches here. And then we'll finish the class. So let's do butterflies, feet together, close to the hips first. And straighten the left leg and right one is against the left thigh. Arms up. 
and fold over and up switch legs arms up and fold over the right leg this time and sit up both legs are in the front right one is outside of the left knee we can bend the left leg we don't have to right arm is behind left one pushing the knee away and turn switch legs left is behind right from pushing the knee away and turn back both legs are in the front arms out and slowly one vertebrae at a time lie back down and we'll do a spine twist as usual, so arms either way, and we'll do the deepest one, so put the right leg over the bent left one, and move the knees to the left. Be careful, this is a deeper stretch, look over the right shoulder, 10 seconds. And 10 more seconds, 20 seconds. And back to the center, uncross the legs and go the other way now. Move the knees to the right, look over the left shoulder and 20 seconds here. And move the knees back to the center, uncross the legs. Hug them to the chest, rock side to side. Give yourself a big hug for uh, taking this time just for yourself. And straighten the right leg and the left leg, palms up. Take a deep breath. And as we exhale, release the tensions from the body. And sink into Shavasana. And while you are doing Shavasana, I say goodbye. Today is August 20. And as I said, it's a big holiday in Hungary, my old country. It used to be the Constitution Day. I don't know what they call it now, but um, they changed everything. They became all of a sudden religious, so maybe it's some sort of Saint Day now. Maybe Saint Stephen's Day, I don't know. Anyway, happy holiday, Hungarians. And uh, weather-wise, um, we have that smoke uh, came here from those big fires far away. So we have a hazy sky and the fog lifted, so it was pretty chilly because of the fog. But now we have that haze and it's kind of spooky. It's, the sun is kind of reddish, so interesting. Anyway, so the air quality probably not that 100% now, you'll have to check on it, so close the windows if it's too bad. Otherwise, it's going to be nice, uh, mid-70s, wonderful weather, just like uh, the whole summer was this year. Um, enjoy your weekend, uh, Fridays, I mean, uh, today's Friday, so the weekend is here. And um, I'll be back on Monday, 8.30, so I'll see you on Monday. And I won't do Wednesdays for a while. I don't know how long, maybe just a couple of times, maybe a little longer, we'll see. Uh, but for now, I have to substitute while they find a teacher there, because I don't want to do it for full time. Anyway, nam namaste. See you back on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.